Hello, students and scholars of the first grade. My name is Ms. Pagan. I am a teacher and I'm also a virtual content specialist. And today I'd like to show you one section of this lesson, the introduction. I also like to show you how to use some online or virtual tools on Didax that you can use to complete your Google Jamboard today. Let's begin. Today, you are in day 21. More addition problems, part two. Your focus question today is, how can I explain the strategy I used? You will see in this Google Jamboard that there will be sticky notes. And these sticky notes are placed to have you think about the strategy you selected and how you can explain it. Let's begin the introduction section. In this introduction section, it begins by saying solve. There's an equation, 68 plus 29 equals. You will be asked to show your work in the blue section. 68 plus 28 equals. Today, I'd like to show you how to use some online or virtual manipulatives or tools to complete this introduction section. I'm gonna click on the select tool on the Google Jamboard, which is the third tool on the left. Then I'll click on the bottom where there is a link. Once you click on this link and copy this link and place it in a new browser, you will be able to open virtual tools. These are virtual manipulatives. You can select any of the virtual manipulatives that you would like. Maybe you want to click on some Unifix cubes. Simply click on the cube and drag it into the center to represent ones or tens. Perhaps you would like to use instead a number board. You can click on the number board and click on the first add-in, color the add-in, and then count. And finally, when you've arrived at your total, color again, or click on a circle to locate. For this introduction page, I thought about one strategy that I could use. And I'm going to use the manipulatives on Didax to show you how I would solve. But students and scholars, you may pause the video Use an online virtual tool to show your work. And finally, students, you may press play and continue when you have used the online tool and have shown your work in the blue square. Students and scholars, let me show you one way that I can choose a strategy to solve the addition problem and afterwards explain what strategy did I use to solve the addition problem and why. I'm gonna click on the online or virtual manipulatives and I'm gonna use one as well. But before I do that, I'm thinking that the strategy that I would like to use is to break apart the second add-in into tens and ones. I really also would like to make the next 10. So because I like to make the next 10 and I have 68, I know that I can add two more. So I'm gonna break apart 29 into the two more to make 70 and 27. I'm going to use a virtual manipulative. So I'm gonna click on the link. And what I've selected today is a number line. I'll click on the number line and I'm gonna start at zero 
to 100 and click go. Now I have a number line from zero all the way to 100. When I look at my problem, my first add-in is 68. So I'll go to my number line and begin at 68. I'll click on the top button and roll until I arrive at my first add-in, which is 68. Well, I see 68 right here. I'll plot right onto 68. Hmm. When I was completing 68 plus 29, I broke apart 29 into 2 and 27. When I think about 2 and 27, I have a 1 here, 1s, and then I have 10s and 1s here but I have two ones here to make the next 10. I'll go to my number line and I'm gonna click on two. So I have one and two. I'll plot right on my number line, one and two. I have just added two and now I have 70. Let me show my work in the blue section, 68 plus two equals, according to the number line, 70. I am now on 70, or I have plotted now 70 on the number line. This is my new total, 70. So now I can add 70, my new total, and look at how I broke apart 29. I broke apart 29 into two, and 27. I'll add 27. Remember I said I wanted to break apart into tens and ones? Well, I'll think about 27 when I'm on the number line. On the number line, 27 will show as two tens and seven ones. So here I am on 70 on this number line. Now I'll use the rotating tool again and get to the next 10. Hmm. So now I'm gonna add 10. Here I have added one 10, but there are two 10s in 27. I'll go to the next 10. Now I have two 10s. I am now on 90, but I broke apart 27 into two 10s and seven ones. Now I'm gonna add seven more ones on this number line. I'm gonna rotate my tool and I'll add one at a time. I have one one, two ones, three ones, four, five, six, and seven. I have now added 27. My total is now 97. Let's just take a second to look at where we began. 68, we added two. Afterwards, we added 27 by adding 110, which arrived at 80. Two tens at 90. And then seven ones, which now are Final total is 97. Well, so 70 plus 27 equals 97. Now, the question that is on this introduction page is which strategy did I use to solve the addition problem and why? Students and scholars, I'm gonna click on a sticky note and answer that question. I used the break apart strategy. I broke apart the second add in into two and 27. So, why did I select that? I wanted to make the next 10 and add. 
students and scholars. I have just shown you how you are going to complete the first introduction section by thinking about one strategy using one virtual manipulative. And finally, explaining what strategy you selected and why. This is Ms. Pagan again with just an introduction section and a very special focus on how to use virtual manipulatives, especially a number line to show how we added today and used one strategy and why on the sticky notes. Again, this is Ms. Pagan with you. Please feel free to place comments and questions on our YouTube page.